Hey everyone, Dr. Zach Shaw coming to you from the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Today we're going to talk about another condition and that is the dreaded Meniere's disease. Maybe you've never heard about this before, but it is a very, very serious condition where a person deals with a triad of symptoms with their ears. What that triad consists of is tinnitus or ringing in the ears, a loss of hearing, and vertigo, which is balance problems. Okay. So, what we have found is that in conventional care, they really don't have an answer for Meniere's disease. The person starts coming in with these symptoms that I just mentioned, and the doctor looks at the ear, they don't really see anything wrong. They look at the external ear, they look at the internal ear, nothing is wrong, and so they just prescribe drugs to treat the symptoms which is okay, but the problem is, is the drugs never get to the cause. They only mask the symptoms, leading to further degeneration, leading to further problems down the road. Not to mention addiction as well. So a lot of times Meniere's patients get prescribed sedatives. When it gets so bad, literally all they wanna do is just lay down, close their eyes, go to sleep, not have to deal with these symptoms. And so sedatives are prescribed, which are very, very addictive. So this path of conventional care can be very problematic when we look at the long-term effects of things. And so what is something that we can get to the cause of these Meniere's disease? And that is what we see in our office every day. We get to the cause of the symptoms of the Meniere's disease, and that all has to do with the nervous system. So let's take a look at this model right here. You've got the external and the internal ear, and then you have the brain stem right here, okay? Like I said, conventional care, the doctor's gonna look at the external ear, look at the internal ear, they see nothing wrong, yet the person's still having ringing in the ears, they're not hearing very well, they're, they're dizzy, they have vertigo. And so what we found is if we look at the nervous system, we've got this vestibulocochlear nerve. It travels from the internal ear all the way to the brain stem, okay? This is the pathway for our ear and our brain to communicate. Essentially what's going on is there's nothing wrong with the ear. The ear is sending normal messages to the brain stem, but they're being interfered with at the level of the vestibulocochlear nerve or the brain stem itself. That's why the brain is interpreting these signals as ringing in the ears, hearing loss, vertigo problems, okay? It's all due to pressure on this vestibulocochlear nerve. And so if we can find a subluxation or a misalignment in one of the top two bones in the neck, and we can remove that misalignment, thus taking pressure off the brain stem and the vestibulocochlear nerve, we can start to get normal messages between the ear and the brain stem, allowing those symptoms to go away. Now the ring isn't there anymore. Now they're hearing a lot louder. They don't need the hearing aid anymore. Their vertigo is better. They're not falling over. They're not getting sick. Actually, one of the biggest symptoms we see with Meniere's patients is drop attacks. And drop attacks are debilitating symptoms where basically the triad of Meniere's symptoms all comes at a rush at one time and that person literally blacks out. A lot of times they fall, they injure themselves and then they're nauseous and they literally can't do anything for hours on end and then it takes them days to recover from that. And so it's a ter terrible, terrible disease and we just wish people knew about upper cervical care so they could send themselves and their loved ones to get this care that we see um, benefit so, so many people, not just Meniere's disease. And so if you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and you are suffering from Meniere's disease or you know someone who does suffer, please give our office a call at 704-588-5560. We will be happy to do a consultation at no charge and see if it's an upper cervical problem. If you're not in the Charlotte area, give our office a call anyway, and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor as close to you as possible. I hope you have a wonderful day, and you take care. All you need to know is that conventional medical care really just treats the effects of your condition. Drugs and surgery really just mask the symptoms. And although surgery can be warranted sometimes, very rarely is it needed. With upper cervical care, we find the cause of your condition by finding the misalignment in the top of the neck, putting pressure on your brainstem, which interferes with the messages between your brain and your body. Give our office a call today.